Hello and welcome to the latest version of the Serial Code Validator plugin for WordPress. Now we added the feature to sell tickets. We have now fully functioned ticket solution if you use WooCommerce. You can sell products marked as a ticket and you can even redeem them on your entrance. Let's buy a ticket to demonstrate how it works. Let's buy it and let's add the coupon code and place the order. The email will contain the serial code, the generated, but this time marked as a ticket number and it will also contain a link to a detail page for the ticket. And this is the email the your client or customer will receive. You will see it's a ticket, ticket and ticket number is added and also the option to download the PDF. Let's click on the ticket number first and it will bring us to the ticket detail page. In this case the ticket is not marked as a virtual product and the order is not processed yet so the detail page will not be shown. Instead we receive an error, ticket payment is not completed. But on the other hand, if we just click on the PDF, you will receive the PDF with the QR code and we have also a scanner for this so that you can redeem the tickets live during the entrance procedure. You will see some informations in here and also the ticket number, the price and some other stuff. They can print out this PDF if they should need this. Let's activate this order and then come back to the detail page. Now we are back here at the detail ticket detail page and I set the order to be processed, basically completed, and let's refresh this page. And the client, your client will see the ticket information and can show you this on the mobile phone and you can also scan this code and redeem it. The default option is that your client is allowed to redeem their tickets by themselves. So this is useful if you are not able to contact the client and you're protected behind some systems um, during COVID or some other cases and you can allow them, it's an option, to redeem their ticket. Once they click on this button, the ticket will be redeemed and marked as redeemed but still valid since we have the valid time on here. They can also download the PDF ticket right from this page. This can also be deactivated with an option in the admin area. So here we are in the admin area and there's a new button called Ticket Scanner. This allows you to open the Ticket Scanner page and validate some tickets typically run on the mobile phone but you, of course you can do this also on the desktop or laptop and you can use the webcam to scan your QR codes. Once you scan a QR code it will immediately open the ticket so let me show you how it could look like. So here's a scanned ticket with the ticket scanner you will see the ticket information just like your client saw it without the QR code. You can download the PDF and document if needed and you can reload the ticket in case you do a live operation like completing an order right on the entrance. You can redeem the ticket and then the ticket will be marked as redeemed and no other user can redeem the ticket again. If you retry it then you will see a red alert box that it is already redeemed and you can scan the next ticket. So let's redeem this ticket and it's marked red. The ticket is redeemed and you will see the date when it's redeemed or not. You can re or you can unredeem the ticket within the admin area whenever you need this feature. Okay, that's it for the external part. Let's go inside and take a look how it looks like on the product and also within the serial code admin area. Here we are in the serial code validator admin area and I all already loaded up the serial code and let's open this that was used for the ticket 
and we see a new area WooCommerce ticket sale you see some informations about the ticket sale who redeemed this and that it is redeemed we can delete the redeem information from here and we can also redeem the ticket from here in case it's needed you have a link to the ticket PDF and you have also a link to the detail page if you click on the detail page that's what your client will see now it's redeemed the ticket is still valid because the time is taken in consideration the event didn't start yet and still download the PDF ticket you can delete the information and you can unset even the ticket so we can set it back to redeem we can add a user ID in case you know your user who who is doing this and if you do it from here then the ticket will be marked as administrator redeemed yeah. by an admin user great let's take a look how it looks on the product side this is our product ticket just a simple ticket or just a simple product I didn't mark virtual and I didn't mark downloadable that's why we are forced basically to set the order to complete manually if you want to have them immediately sold you can mark them as a virtual and as a downloadable and um, in this case you need to upload any PDF maybe an instruction kit or so otherwise it will not work on WooCommerce site it's not related to the serial code validator ticket we have the serial codes and ticket tab renamed now it's called serial code and ticket and on the top you will have the ticket elements you can activate this to mark this as a ticket sale and you still need to choose the code list if you do not choose a code list this will not generate any ticket numbers since the system will think you don't need a ticket number for this case this is the simplest way to deactivate temporary the event information or the say selling of tickets or generating ticket numbers so you can set the start date the start time an end and also an end time additionally you have the information here this block can be print on it's optional can be added to your ticket this will be visible on the ticket directly below the description or the ticket name and you can also add the option to allow the short description to be displayed on the ticket itself in case it's needed typically the information goes in here some entrance information come up one hour earlier or something like this or restrictions and so on added in here but not necessarily needed on the product ticket itself on the shop website they are all optional it's strongly recommended to fill them out if you do this then more features are activated like calculating if it's still valid do we are we still able to redeem the ticket or not if you leave it empty then there is no time element added and you can redeem the ticket whenever you need to redeem the tickets and it will be also not printed on the ticket itself great so let's take a look on the order how it looks on the order side this is the order for the ticket sale and you have some information about the order itself also for the ticket number in this case I was removing the ticket itself and added back and you will have the information in the order notes for this too if you scroll down a little bit in the middle then you will see the item information and also the ticket information like the ticket number if you click on this link you will jump directly to serial code validator area it will be already filtered for this number so it's a little bit faster and you can work on this serial code used now as a ticket number you will see the list that is set behind and that this is a ticket itself additionally we support the PDF generation with this invoice here and there you have your ticket number printed on the PDF and also the ticket detail it's a link that will open the ticket again uh, so you have the ticket number 
and the ticket detail with an URL pointing directly to the ticket detail page for your clients. So let's take a look at the options. Here we are in the serial code validator admin area and we go now to the options and the ticket informations are at the bottom added as a new section and it's called WooCommerce Ticket Sale. By default it's activated again if you set on your product the checkbox and the code list that is used then this product will be a ticket sale and it will work immediately. What additionally you can do is basically hiding some information like do not show the redeem button on the ticket for the client so they cannot redeem by themselves the tickets then you have the opportunity to change the ticket number or the ticket prefix label for the tickets on the email on a PDF invoice you can add the button for the download option of the PDF ticket and you can display some additional information like display the short description of the product by default it's not activated you can hide the address and the name on the ticket itself you can hide also the payment method and the payment details you can hide the download button for the PDF itself and just provide the link if you want and you can also hide the PDF download button on the email and the last option for now is hide the ticket detail page link on purchase or order email then it will be just a ticket number there you go this is brand new our latest version with this real code validator plugin and we added now the ticket sale opportunity if you have WooCommerce and, and we worked really hard on this it took us a while to finish this and it's still not perfect of course it's the early release version for you to experiment with it to use it it, it will work and of course it's supported also by us and it's available also in the free plugin uh, and if if you have just more than 500 tickets you need a premium that's it and that's all once it's set and done and the look and feel is correct and so on the plan is to go with the WooCommerce ticket sale as a separate plugin additional to the existing one so that you have the opportunity to skip the whole serial code validator because the name is not really helpful to identify this plugin and it will be released as a single standalone uh, plugin just for ticket sales. Thank you very much and I hope you enjoyed our latest version.